Hello everyone, my name is Gabriel Botvin. I am a faculty member in the Department of Chemical and Biological Engineering here at UBC. I am now in the undergraduate labs for the Environmental Engineering program. Environmental Engineering is one of our newest programs here in Engineering and it is offered jointly by the Departments of Civil Engineering and Chemical and Biological Engineering. In this program, students will apply concepts from both of these disciplines to address pressing environmental issues and work in areas such as ecosystem and biodiversity protection, pollution remediation, and climate change mitigation. Here in this lab, students get hands-on experience with equipment and processes related to these topics. I've been asked to show you around and see what kind of work environmental engineers do. We're going to take a look at things that are related to water treatment, air and water pollution, and the capture of greenhouse gases, so you'll get a better idea of what engineers can do and work on in society. At the core of what engineers do is what we call the design process, or the creative application of scientific principles to the creation of new solutions to problems. To do this well, we need a good grounding in theory, which is why we have these labs. In these labs, students will get hands-on experience with equipment and processes to gain a good understanding of the physical and chemical phenomena involved in environmental engineering. What I have behind me is a device to study the process of settling. In polluted water, solid pollutants are slowly going to settle to the bottom of the reservoir. This is an effective way to separate pollutants from the water that we want to clean. By studying this process with hands-on experience, students will get a good understanding of the parameters and the factors that affect settling and allow us to design things like settling ponds, which is an effective way to remove those solid pollutants from any water that we want to treat. Settling was an example of a physical method to treat water, but we can also treat water chemically. Let's take, for example, the wastewater produced from a mining operation. It is often very acidic and contains a lot of heavy metal ions. If this wastewater makes it to nearby rivers or lakes, it causes significant harm to the aquatic life. To treat this water, we have to neutralize it, and we do so by adding a base to it. Adding the base decreases the acidity of the wastewater, which also causes the heavy metals to precipitate out, making them much easier to separate from the water. This protects the environment from the acid and metal contamination. Students in this lab get hands-on experience with this process using the device behind me here. They get again a good understanding of the physical and chemical phenomena involved in water treatment, which allows them to design new, efficient, and effective water treatment methods. One of the biggest challenges facing humanity right now, and certainly one in which environmental engineers will have a huge role to play, is climate change which is caused by the accumulation of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. One way to mitigate the effects of climate change is to capture and store greenhouse gases like CO2 in underground reservoirs. When we pump CO2 in underground reservoirs, the low temperatures and high pressures in these environments helps the CO2 form what we call hydrates, which traps the CO2 in cages made of water molecules. This allows us to store a very large quantity of greenhouse gas underground where it will not contribute to climate change. Students will get the opportunity to get hands-on experience with this process using the equipment that we see here. This simulates the conditions in one of these reservoirs so that students can understand the phenomena involved in order to design new, efficient and effective systems for the mitigation of climate change as well. What you just saw were just a few short examples of the kinds of things that environmental engineers work on and a small subset of the kind of things that our students will learn in this program. Humanity is facing some pretty significant environmental challenges right now and environmental engineers have a crucial role to play to design and create the systems that are going to help to preserve and protect the environment and the world around us. I hope you enjoyed the short presentation and visit through our labs. I hope it answered some of your questions, but if you have any more questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch with us. We are always happy to talk to the public and to prospective students. And with that, all the best.